partially blind man was beaten up outside a Southside Milwaukee bar and now he's in the ICU. Police are looking for those who threw the punches, but as Tom Durian found out, there is another side to this story. Tom? Certainly is, George and Carol. The man suffered life-threatening injuries. His wife and police want to know who's responsible. But the owners of the bar where it all started say the victim definitely had his part in starting the altercation. He takes one step outside the door and gets clobbered on the left hand side of his head. Paula Poff's husband Ralph had been celebrating his 58th birthday at the El Parian barn on 29th and Burnham when he got in an argument with other patrons. Paula says Ralph was defending the Hispanic bartender against racist customers. There was a verbal between him and the gentleman. Nothing threatening was said. They just kind of like got into a little argument. Ricardo Montez is the bar owner and was tending bars Saturday. Speaking through his daughter as an interpreter, he says he was never threatened by anyone and that Ralph became increasingly agitated. But he wouldn't listen to stop bothering the couple that was just trying to enjoy themselves here. So my dad told him he had to leave. He's like, I'm not leaving. And I'm going to call immigration on you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not leaving. I'm calling immigration on you. And my father was like, go ahead. The couple left instead, and minutes later, so did Ralph. The young gentleman went out, and he was going to go after the young man. So the young man retaliated, he turned around, and that's when the whole fight started. Montez says he locked the door because he felt threatened, but then Ralph broke the window. He's trying to call for help. The, they had locked the door, wouldn't let him in. Ralph, who was already suffering from a heart condition, is now in the ICU. Right now, he's not stable. He was just now having uh, chest pain. As a human, I, nobody deserves to be in the hospital. So the bar owners did not press charges against Ralph for the broken window. The police are, though, still looking for the suspects who were involved. Surveillance video from the bar may help them out. Back to you. Okay, strange. Thank you very much, Tom.